G'day guys, welcome back to Mango Invest. Uh, in this video, we're gonna uh, break down uh, all the dividends and just do a, a bit of a portfolio update. Um, over the last sort of you know couple of weeks, uh, work's been extremely busy, so I haven't really been focusing on uh, the dividend portfolio uh, for the last few weeks, but the total uh, equity is $294,000, just on the top left there. Uh, $3,500 uh, worth of profit, although it, realistically it is a little bit more, but uh, because I've been, you know, uh, selling companies like Microsoft, um, as it goes on the uptrend, all that money sort of gets reduced out of the profit and it goes into the cash position, which you can see there. So uh, 29 or just under $29,000 uh, worth of cash in uh, USD currency. Uh, we will convert all these uh, numbers in Australian currency very soon. Uh, fairly exciting. We're reaching uh, a fair few milestones. Uh, but in terms of uh, all the holdings, everything really remains the same. Uh, the big name players, um, you know, Apple, Microsoft, uh, for the growth side of things, and then for the dividends, we're looking at uh, Jeppy. So we've currently got forty-one thousand uh, dollars just based in Jeppy, and they're giving me just under three hundred dollars every single month of dividends. Uh, scrolling down, we've got Realty Income Corporation at thirty-two thousand dollars of total equity. Um, they're paying me a little bit less in dividends, but still uh, very consistent, and they're continuing to grow their dividends every single month. Uh, QOLD, this is a big, the big hitter for uh, dividends. You know, forty, just shy of forty-three thousand dollars of total total equity. You know, and they're paying me just over four hundred dollars every single month of dividends alone. So, uh, very happy, uh, very consistent with uh, QOLD. Uh, one thing I have been enjoying with the new stake interface. If we look into Microsoft, um, let's have a look at the last year. They've they've started to put, um, you know, all the the trades. Uh, within within your little chart there so you can see how like as microsoft sort of goes on the uptrend you can see my constant um my cells uh, there which is pretty good and you can even um, use this little feature here so say for example back in the 27th of september uh, you can hold this and you can see how much it's actually risen you know within the last uh, sort of year so it's gone up you know 37 percent from uh, last sort of october which which is pretty cool they never used to have um uh, that feature there so it's always good to see um you know them improving you know with little things here and there uh let's have a look at the transactions let's have a look at all the um all the dividends received uh, let's go click on the wall street tab there filter we'll go deposits as well um deposits uh dividends and the dividend tax date range let's just go you know within the last sort of couple of weeks um uh, scrolling down here so you, as you can see there qald paid me 419 uh, dollars and the the good thing about this is it, it pays it pays every single month so i'm getting 419 dollars every single month and that's just from one company alone which is pretty exciting um ltc paid me 91 dollars and 50 cents so they're fairly consistent there um at and uh, pays me every quarter 91 dollars and 58 cents um i'm really looking to uh, sell out of the company. I'm just currently in in the uh, negative by a couple of thousand, so I don't really want to lose that cash at the moment. Uh, Jeppy paid me two hundred and thirty six thousand dollars there. Oh wait, oh, I wish two hundred and thirty six dollars. Well, I wouldn't bloody retire if they paid me that much. Uh, AG and C paid me massive three hundred and seventy dollars, and again, this is another monthly paying uh, paying dividend company there, real estate investment trust, um, very consistent. Uh, and then I made another deposit of um. Uh, two thousand six hundred and ten dollars. Uh, Realty Income Corporation, one hundred and sixty-one dollars and forty-two cents, and then Apple uh, paid me, you know, a measly thirty-one dollars eighty cents. But they're there for the growth, not necessarily uh, for the dividends. Uh, let's have a look at um, the overall uh, currency. So when you convert the U.S. funds into Australian currency, so that's in U.S. there at the moment. So overall, when you take into consideration the um, equity and the cash, it comes to $323,000 US. But let's click uh, the AU and let's see what it converts to. Bang, $482,000 of Australian currency there. So we're $18,000 or you know, $17,500 off the half a million dollar mark, uh, which will be um, a fairly big milestone uh, for the portfolio, you know, we've been investing since, you know, 2019 and it started with a $300 investment uh, and now we're all the way up to 482,000 Australian uh, currency, which is pretty exciting there. 
and also as you can see on the on the bottom left of the um, screen there this is how much uh, money we've been uh, investing since this year the goal is uh, thirty thousand dollars and you know we're pretty much uh, on the right track to to meet that target and um, we'll just keep updating um, that every single video and we'll see we'll see how we go by the end of the year hopefully we do make it to thirty thousand um, dollars but that's just something to look out for there yeah, uh, that concludes the video. Just wanted to do a quick little portfolio update. Um, if you did want to sign up with Stake and get yourself a uh, free stock, uh, you can use the code uh, ChrisM965 uh, when you do sign up with Stake. Uh, you'll get a free stock and I'll get a free stock. You know, It's basically free money, so why wouldn't you do it? Um, I'll even put the invite link on the uh, in the description below, so you just click on that, uh, and then that'll sort of fast track you to the, um, the sign-up page there. Uh, so as always, guys, hope you had a good day, and uh, I'll catch you in the next video.